<laughs> what is good youtube man today i'm back with you guys with the nation for another video and today we are recapping day three our news of our las vegas raiders training camp but before I get into today's video, another big shout out to my boy Icy Nate. Yet again, he came through with another thumbnail. So shout out to Icy Nate. Go check him out. His channel is Icy underscore Nate. He also has an Instagram page. It's Raider Rhythm. Go check my boy out. Show some love. Show some support. But let's get into today's video, man. Today, we have some good news. And uh, yeah, I mean, basically some good news. We also had a little bit of bad news. So I'll get into that first. Um, Richie Incognito, Tyree Gillespie, Kenyon Drake, uh, Theo Riddick, and I believe it was <sighs> Darius Stills. All of them did not participate today, but out of the two, uh, out of, uh, there's two guys out of those that I just mentioned, Darius Stills and Kenyon Drake, unlike the other guys, um, were still at practice. They were just on the sideline. I believe they had a staff member with them, probably just kind of nursing their injury while they were on the sideline, kind of listening in on what was being said and that kind of stuff so they were still there they just didn't participate but Richie Incognito, Gillespie, Richard, Theo Riddick all those guys technically did not attend practice today um in other news we also heard today that Nate Hobbs got himself some first team defensive reps at the nickel and the slot position so that is big news for our new young rookie um a guy that can play inside and or outside he that's what he did in illinois so that's that's pretty big you know shout out to one of my big supporters kenneth bryant he's been on uh nate hobbs since he's got to us so that is big news i'm happy to hear that nate hobbs gets himself some first team defensive reps today at the slot at the nickel um but we also heard that Arnett appeared to um, appeared to get a, also a good amount of first team reps today. Um, although he did get a lot of first team reps, Casey Hayward still took majority, and so did um, Trayvon Mullen. But Damon Arnett did take a lot of the first team reps today. Although Casey Hayward took the majority of them. Now we also had a press conference that included a. Uh, uh, offensive coordinator Greg Olson, Denzel Good, Jonathan Abram, Cleveland Furrow, and I think that's that's it. Yeah. So I'm gonna head in. I'm gonna go top to bottom. Offensive coordinator Greg Olson. Some of his biggest points that he made, in my opinion, were not many. You know, he didn't really, in my opinion, he didn't really say too much. But what stuck out to me the most were these three things. He said that Denzel, I mean, he said that John Simpson, after camp and after the, the little training sessions that they had before, he came in today as the Raiders' strongest player. Um, I'm assuming that he's probably has the highest average of every lift on our team right now. And that is very, very huge in my opinion. Um, Denzel Good did speak on John Simpson, and I will get to that a little bit later. I'm so happy that we finally get some big boy love today. We got some we got some lineman news today, man. So I'm happy about that. Um, Greg Olson also spoke and said that Nick Marsden will not only get some reps at center, but he will also play at guard that's something that uh we all know our offensive line coach tom cable loves to do he loves getting versatile players now he was also asked about our touchdowns last year and he said that red zone and goal to goal we just did not score enough touchdowns and he couldn't be more right he said that is a point of emphasis for our offense this offseason now going on to denzel good one of the first things he was asked was about rookie right tackle first round pick alex leatherwood he says leatherwood is super super athletic and is always looking to improve um he is a good guy you know i mean hey <laughs> that sounds like that sounds like a perfect player to me right athletic always looking to improve good guy I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it, man. Um, he also said that he feels very, very confident in the group that is being built right now, mentioning him, Andre James, Alex Leatherwood, Richie Incognito, and Colton Miller. He said these guys, our group right now, can do great things. I love to hear that. I really, really do. It's some good reassurance, man, knowing that we lost, uh, or we didn't lose, but we let go uh, a lot of our guys that we had, a lot of veterans that we had, and it's good to know that this young group is just building a core, a foundation, and is really ready to lead our offensive group, and uh, 
play as family, man. That's always, always good. And uh, the, he was also asked about him because Denzel Good was a guy that we had to re-sign this offseason. He was asked about his free agency options and that kind of stuff. He said, going into free agency, I really didn't look elsewhere. Raiders were always my number one team. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. Absolutely love to hear it. Um, and touching up on Greg Olson's comment about John Simpson being probably the strongest player that we have on this roster right now, he said Jim, uh, John Simpson was in the weight room like a demon. Those were his exact words. He said he got a lot stronger, quicker, and he's just coming in more confident. For me, perfect, perfect and even more perfect, right? Um, we all know that Richie Incognito, he wants to play for a, for a good amount of more years. Uh, he wants to finish out his career here with the Raiders, but maybe that's not always going to be as a starter. And when you have a pretty, pretty high investment in a offensive lineman saying that you got him in the first four rounds, um, John Simpson is definitely a guy that I would be looking into taking over uh, for, for Richie Incognito after this year. And with these words right here, definitely reassuring, definitely puts him at a good angle to reach that goal to maybe play over Richie Incognito by the end of this year or by the beginning of next season. That would be perfect. Now, right after uh, Denzel Good, we had one of my favorite, if not my favorite player on this team, Jonathan Abram, a guy that I will always vouch for, argue for, everything for. Jonathan Abram is one of my guys. Uh, I love this guy. I love what he brings to this team. He didn't say too much. He had a lot of uh, short answers. He he kind of looked like he was over it, honestly, kind of like how Max was uh, not too long ago. I believe it was yesterday. Um, but first things first, he said that he feels like this secondary is going to be very, very good. He said, I feel like we're going to have a good secondary. Th th those were his words exactly, right? He said, I feel like we're going to have a good secondary. He he also said that he felt very comfortable and he was very, very good. And uh, he didn't mind the move to box safety. He he said that overall, he feels really good about the move to playing box safety. Um, not only that, he mentioned a little bit about our fans. He said, it's going to be fun having our fans back. It'll be uh, sold out every single game. He knows that Raider support. He knows that Raider love. He also said that on third downs, teams aren't going to be able to hear in that stadium. And, hey, us Raider fans, we got to prove Jonathan Abram right. We got to be out there. I know the tickets are high. We're going to find a way, though. We got to prove Jonathan Abram right, man. Teams are not going to be able to hear on third down, man. We got to prove him right. Now, Cleveland Furrow actually had a pretty, pretty big portion of this, uh, of this press conference today. He had a about, I believe, 10 minutes or, or eight minutes of his own time. So we are going to be talking about Cleveland Furrow just for, for a good, good bit here. Um, but my biggest things on, on Cleveland Furrow were, 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 I mean, I liked him, man. I liked the interview. He, I, I believe like he said what needed to be said. Now, Cleveland Furrow to opened off. He said, this is the biggest defensive lineman group that we've had since I've got here. And he couldn't be more right. I don't remember us having uh, over 10 defensive linemen on the roster. I don't remember that. I really don't. Um, I believe his rookie year, he had Benson and Yoa. He, had, um, he did have Max Crosby with him. He did have Jonathan Hankins. Um, he had some other guys, but definitely not 13 defensive linemen. And um, he went on to speak about that. Um, Next question right after that was he definitely felt like in previous years, he didn't really want to say that we didn't have in enough depth, but that's what was implied. He said the biggest thing uh, is that we have um, guys now that we definitely got burnt out the last couple years. He said we definitely got burnt out the last couple years. And um, now with us having a very, very big group, it definitely helps. And he, all went, he also went on to say we also have the best thing is we have a great leader in Rod Marinelli. Now, um, he he did speak about Rod Marinelli. He didn't really speak about Rod Marinelli after that. But what I was kind of surprised with what he said was out of everything that we've learned this offseason about this new defense, this new defensive coordinator, how things are run, um, he kind of dropped a little gem saying that we're going to play a lot of man coverage this season. Now, um, I know that we are going to run a lot of cover three. I know we're going to be in the nickel a lot. But when he said man coverage, right, to me, I like to hear that because we were all saying, oh, we're just going to be zone. We're just going to be this. We're just going to be that. But at the end of the day, with him saying that, 
I honestly do believe that Trayvon Mullen and Damon Arnett could flourish off of this. You know, these are guys that that's exactly what they did in Clemson, right? It was either press bail or it was press man, right? It was either press bail in the cover three or it was press man, um, in cover one, right? That's what they did in college. That's what you usually do in college. You get your best guy against their best guy and you see who can play, make the better play, right? So I kind of like that he said that, um, but it'll be interesting. And then he was also um, told or asked about him playing on the inside and on the outside because that is what um, John Gruden kind of mentioned about yesterday or two days ago uh, about maybe his rush, best rushes on the inside. He did say being able to play both inside and outside will probably be what separates me by the end of my career with the rest of the players, right? And I couldn't agree more, right? That is a very, very, very big piece, and it's a big asset, right? Uh, versatility is huge, especially in the NFL. You can never get enough of it, honestly. Um, and and I, I like that he said that. It seems like he's accepting it. He did say, though, that it was something that it's definitely a big learning curve for him. So it's not like he has everything all figured out. He knows what he needs to do. He needs to get better, and he knows it. He knows it. Um. But he was also asked a couple personal questions, like things what he was working on. He really just said that the best version of myself, the best thing is there is no ceiling, right? So he feels like if he can reach his max potential, there is really no max potential. He thinks he can only get better even if he has 50 sacks, basically. There is no ceiling for uh, Cleveland Furl in his eyes, right? Now, this question right here um, was very, very interesting, right? Now, a reporter asked, he said, is it finally time for the defense to hold up their end of the bargain and really stand out this season? Now, Cleveland Furrow's answer to me, the way he came off was pretty aggressive, uh, but not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. It was pretty aggressive. He immediately just said, we all need to get better. Not just the defense, the front office, the staff, and everybody as a whole. And when he said the front office, that was like, whoa, okay. I'm not sure if he really wanted to like say it like that. Um, I I'm not sure if he meant to make it come off the way it did, but it did sound a little bit aggressive. It did sound a little forward, right? And um, yeah, I definitely was not expecting that. Uh, it did come off very, very forward. He said, it's not just the defense, it's the front office, it's the staff, and of course, yes, the defense as well. But the way he worded it, it sounded very aggressive. Uh, I'm not too sure if he really meant it like that, but that one, when, when I heard that, I was like, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I got to write this down. Like It, it was interesting, but um, he also went on to say, he said, the defense we not only want to just hold up. The defense is something, uh, the way that we're carrying ourselves right now, we don't want to just hold up. We want to be the reason we win games and compete for Super Bowls. That's exactly what he said, and that's exactly what you like to hear because guess what? One of the biggest sayings, if not the biggest saying in football, is defense wins championships, right? Now, that's exactly what he said. We don't want to just be good enough to, to get by. We want to be the reason why our team is winning. We want to be the reason why we're trying to go get a ring. We're trying to be the reason to bring this franchise back, man. And I, and I, and I completely, completely respect that, man. The, the, I mean, it just shows that our guys that we have right now, that, that, uh, Mayock, Rudin, Cable, all these guys that have contributed to putting this, um, you know, good character and all this football mentality, it's actually starting to get somewhere, right? It's actually starting to get somewhere. Like they're building a real foundation. I know we've missed out on a lot of talent because of it, but when you have guys that all want to grow together, it always helps your team in the long run. I know we could have been better short term with if, if we would have went with just talent over, you know, foundation or or you know character guys but it is what it is but i like to see that it's finally starting to pay off now um one of his i think it was the last thing that he did mention was um that he was asked about his weight how he had to move up last year and where he's at now he said that my strength right now is really really good it's better than what i've been in a couple of years uh probably the best i've ever been he said i've and i've really tried to cut down to back to my 268 to where he uh played in his his rookie year that's what he played at um and and he wants to become more explosive. Now, he said basically cutting down to the 268, he still feels stronger than what he was before, 
but he also doesn't want to hold on that extra uh, five, six pounds that he held last year uh, that he felt he might have had to and maybe created him to be not as explosive. But that wrapped up, that capped up everything that uh, I picked up, basically the main topic, uh, talking points of today, right? I mean, um, we did hear that, you know, Incognito and all those guys were not out there. We don't know what Incognito's uh, thing is yet. I do believe that Richard and Theo Riddick's, their stuff is all COVID related. Um, I, I know that Darius Stills is just a minor tweak in the back. Um, and I'm not too sure what Kenyon Drake's uh, thing is, but Darius Stills and Kenyon Drake were both on the sideline, like I mentioned before. So they were at practice, but not really at practice. You know what I'm saying? But with that all being said, Raider Nation, that'll be it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm definitely going to come back with another video tomorrow if there's more news. Um, but yes, like I said, this weekend, I'll be in Vegas. I'm going to for sure, for sure, for sure try and get you something in front of that beautiful stadium that we got. But Raider Nation, that'll be it for today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I'm out. Peace.